Hi, I'm Dr. David Targan, and welcome to BioBytes. With rising fuel prices taking a toll on our daily lives, and with increasing concerns over the environmental impact of fossil fuels, we are all searching for answers to our fuel challenges. Advances in biotechnology are starting to help reduce our nation's dependence on foreign oil. And reducing our use of oil decreases some greenhouse gas emissions that would otherwise contribute to global warming. For years, biotechnology has led the way to develop and produce alternative biofuels like ethanol and biodiesel. Biofuels are transportation fuels made from biomass, plant material, or other sources of carbon from nature. Biofuels offer many benefits. They are renewable. This means we can regrow the source over and over again, unlike fossil fuels, which were created just once over millions of years and become depleted over time. Biofuels also can lower carbon emissions as compared to the combustion of all petroleum-based fuels. And many of these biofuels can provide new markets for farmers around the world. Until recently, almost all biofuel was made from starch-based agricultural crops like corn or from sugar-based crops like sugarcane. But researchers have now developed next-generation biofuels. These biofuels will be produced from many kinds of biomass or feedstocks such as wood chips, corn husks, switchgrass, and possibly even yard waste. These second generation feedstocks are known as cellulosic biomass because they are made mostly of cellulose, the key ingredient in plant cell walls and the world's most abundant organic material. Breakthroughs and advances in biotechnology are also leading to the development of the first biorefineries. In the future, these biorefineries will convert cellulosic biomass into biofuels. You may be surprised to learn about some examples of the materials that will be used to make these second generation biofuels. Agricultural waste like corn stalks and husks, forestry waste like wood chips and tree trimmings, and fast growing trees and grasses grown as energy crops. All of these materials are sources of cellulosic biomass and biotech researchers aren't stopping there. They are also working on ways to produce biofuels from algae and even developing microbes that can convert greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide straight into biofuels, helping to clean the atmosphere as they grow. The potential impact of this technology is amazing from the economic boost of having farmers grow crops for biorefineries to the added security of knowing that biofuels can be made right here at home. The sky is the limit. For BioBytes, I'm Dr. David Targan.